Hey, so I'm starting this up with the away screen up just so that I can show it off. Um, this is what Kira slash Straight Edge Panda made for me. Uh, she did a fantastic job. You can see her name there in the bottom left. Um, it's uh, it's wonderful. She did basically all the, the branding for my channel. I guess you'd call it branding. Um, looks really good. There's the water effect at the top. There's the kind of cycle circle in the center with the uh, the rotating bubbles and lays of right. Lays of right? Rays of light. It's very pretty. But this is what you came to see. My glorious face watching uh, myself play Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. So we were off last week. What did we do? Two weeks ago. I trouble remembering. We're in an inn of some kind. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. We came up to... No blue hair. I know. I know. No blue hair. I also haven't uh, prepped any six things you didn't know about X videos either. Let's see. Oh! That's right. Last week we talked to Zamithra's guard. Uh, not Zamithra's guard. Zamithra. My wife will love it, I'm sure. My kids would love it. My oldest son wants to dye his hair blue. If, if I did it first, I told him no. I mean, I I didn't tell him no, but I told him, like, I think you really need to reconsider that before you do it. But if I did it first, he'd be like, hey, what the hell? Um... We talked to Zamithra and got the jewel from her, right? So do her guards have anything to yes, say this time? But... Talk to her if she's in the mood for a conversation. Hi, Kira! Did you see? <gasps> you didn't see it. I, I had this up earlier. Hang on. I'm going to put it back up. Bam! I'm going to say bam every time I put it back up. Bam! Look at that. Gorgeous. Fantastically done. Okay. Uh, right, so what does our journal say now? The Zemithra thing's taken care of. Port last... Oh, that's right! We're here... Well, we're not... This isn't why we're here, but there's some kind of crazy contest going on in the basement of this place. And that's what we're going to do next. Which is this way. Come on, Tommy! Hey, Distressler, welcome. Glad to see you here. Where do we go, Tommy? Oh, no, now. Republican. Oh, yes, isn't it fantastic? Yeah, it looks great. It looks absolutely fantastic. Nobleman, uninjured. I greet you. Not for long. You're not a contestant, are you? No, I don't think I've ever seen you. Can I rob? <laughs> See how I backed up? Do you mind if I just take a look in here? What is this? Bullet of Screaming? I'm not going to take it. It sounds cool, though. Ah, legs. Oh, my God. Wait, who are you? I greet guard? you. I greet you. Greetings. The side rooms are viewing rooms if you're here to watch the event. If you're an adventurer, the preparation room is at the end of the hall. Only adventurers are allowed in the preparation room, please. Okay, let's see what this observation room looks like. Is there a way for me to just observe? I suspect not. Ice bullets. Bullets of screaming, yes. When you fire them, they go... It's a, it's a intimidation thing. <clears throat> Scrying pools. Yeah, I was wondering though if there wasn't a way for me to view the action, but it looks like not. I greet you. Rather a titillating sport, don't you think? Yes, most unusual. Ooh, taking your gold, nobleman. Out of the way. Out. No. Ah. What is happening? Sorry, I found that wall fascinating for just a second. Excuse me. Legs. Damn it. 
Ah! Help! I'm stuck on a spider. There we go. I greet you! Oh. Hello. Hello. You're not a contestant, are you? No, I don't think I've ever seen you. Whoa! No! Okay. Socks just teleported into the way. Locked. Oh, it's done! I object. Yes, well, you know how it is. It is. British are very good at blending into their natural surroundings. Hello? What do we got here? Gorkin? Cosma? Did? Gam? Jeru? I think we've met all these people upstairs. Combat dummy. I'm trying to talk to the combat dummy and nothing's happening. Who's the real dummy now? Huh? Archery target. We'll see about that. Good to see you. May the best man win. Well met. It is pointless for you to compete against me, dear man. My superior intelligence will prevail in the end. Hi, hello there. Ah, uh, you're not good enough by half, boy. You best not get in me way in yon dungeon, or I'll treat you like any other beastie I encounter. Got that? Hello there. <laughs> Okay, Cosmo's gonna be the one person I'm not afraid of. I wish you luck, friend. Whichever of us wins the prize, I hope you at least aren't hurt. So, this is the latest group of entrants, is it? Very well. My name is Jeru, God bless master you. of the games. Allow me to explain how this will work. It shall cost you 500 gold pieces to be teleported into the dungeon. You'll appear in one of five alcoves located in the southern end. Teleported? Hmm. I don't know if I like the sound of that. If you wish to return, simply use the platform that you appeared on, or any other platform. But it will cost you 500 gold pieces to be teleported back. Okay. Neither I nor Mutiman are Mutiman. responsible for your right. deaths or the deaths of your companions. If you enter, it is your risk to take. I see. Now then, should anyone wish to enter, Approach me with your gold, and I'll teleport you within. All right. Socks, legs, Tommy. I think we're ready, right? Do I have all my spells? Except for my animal companion. And legs. But I got all my lightnings. Stone skin, very good. Let the games begin! Yes. Wait, Are hang on, hang on a second. Let's restore them. Ah, no can do. Ah! Don't attack it, animals, please. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Are you ready to enter the dungeon? Yes, I am. Here's your 500 gold. Oh, there was a third question that asked me if uh, that asked him if the 500 gold was really even necessary. I missed that one. Excellent. Prepare yourself, my lord, and let the contest begin. The journal did something there. Mutiman's challenge. That sounds like a. a <laughs> Mutiman's challenge sounds like a 10-day vitamin-taking contest. <laughs> Ask your doctor about Mutiman's challenge. A man named Mutiman hosts an illegal dungeon race beneath the Green Griffin Inn, north of Luskin. Those given a key to the cellars are to proceed to the cellars and speak with his assistant, Jeru. It's a name by Richard Nixon. Jeru! Jeru has explained the rules and launched the race. Competing adventuring parties are to race down parallel paths filled with monsters, traps, and treasure. At the end of the dungeon, they will be faced with a riddle. The first party to solve the riddle is deemed the winner. Oh, fucking hell. I, nobody said anything about a riddle. Well, this isn't going to go well. I'm guessing based on the riddle. Hello? Get in line. Follow me. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay. Less lead than ever before. Hello, Jezza. You are just in time. We're just about to start Mutiman's Challenge, which is uh, 
basically an herbal supplement challenge. Oh, legs! Look, your buddies. Legs. We found some buddies. Here comes Sword spider. Legs is like, don't kill them. They're potential mates. Holy shit, where did these things all come from? Who summoned all? Oh my god, Sox is dead! This is considerably harder than I thought. Here comes Kill the freaking flesh golem, quick! Oh, that's true. Spiders don't like other spiders. Yeah, they're like vampires in that regard. You can't have them in the same room together. Fuck! Tommy's dead. He's glitched out. I'm dead! <laughs> Alright. We get a redo there. Oh, shit. I didn't... I didn't... Where's the autosave? That's more recent, right? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, good. Everyone dead. I know. Maybe let's go to the right first, huh? What do we got in here? More spiders. Edder cap? Ew! Spidery humanoids! Oh, that's terrifying. Ah! <laughs> oh, get me away from them. Look at that fucking thing. Oh, Here fuck that. Okay, I'm almost dead. I don't vaccinate my children, I give them mutamins. Many attacks per round. Oh, crap. Okay, thank you, Frankie. spider man not friendly neighborhood. Evil Spider-Man, you're saying. Um, okay, let's heal the hell out of ourselves, huh? Hmm. Oi, look out! Your spider's gonna try to kill it! Ah, uh, it's done! Okay, that's good. Healing's good. More healing, that's good. Edder Cap's Silk Gland. Hmm. Okay, sure. We'll take one. Grossed out by the human. He's. <laughs> He's looking at it like, oh, what kind of monster has only two legs and two arms? Disgusting creatures. What does our map look like? Holy crap, this is gigantic. Deeper in the dungeon? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Ow! Thanks, Tommy, for letting me know about the trap, dude. Ah, oh, fuck. I was hoping my animals wouldn't just jump in like this! Socks! Socks is dying. Of course, so am I. Socks, take that! Quick! It's Mutamind's challenge. Here comes the Bark Badger after! Legs is about gone. Legs is getting attacked from outside! Legs has multiple enemies. Uh... Legs is gone. 
Sox is almost gone again. Sword spider, shit. You did it. You can't talk to me, huh? Feed your companion quick, he's dying. Okay, any... Oh, no! Any remains? No remains. We're gonna have to call legs at some point. Crystal Skull? Something this is a shitty George Lucas movie. I bet we can't rest! No. Oh, stop it! My god, I'm almost dead. Why are we not detecting these traps? They must be well beyond our ken, huh? And do you think we stand a chance without socks? Hang on. You know what I should have done? I should have kept uh, Brigand Wolf as a spell option. There's so many spells on this list that I'm not using. Would have been great to have Brigand Wolf still around. Somewhere. Uh, somewhere in here. Wait, I do have a fifth spell slot? Fifth level? What? When did that happen? Hey, Deadbeat! Welcome! Um, hey, what the fuck? I have a summon. When did I get summon creature 5? That's kind of aggravating. Damn. Um,. Crap, now I really want to rest so that I could um, do that. You know, I could go back, spend the gold. It's not like gold's an op uh, really an option. Uh, not an option, what's the word? It's not like gold's really a problem right now, right? I have 15,000 of it. Could go back, rest. And then get teleported back and continue on, right? That's I think what I'm gonna do. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> okay. So stand by one moment. I wanna get rid of this. Empty. Nope. Ah, shit. Um, where are my regular old spells? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Aha! All right, what's our name for the dire bear then, huh? Hey, why is he still hanging around? We need a dire bear name. Yes. Are you ready to so enter the have wares If you have coin. Yes. Here's five hundred gold, you prick. All right, now I better not have to fight those monsters again, right? So I'll reload that auto save. Looks like they're gone. Oh, fucking fuck. These things are terrifying. Go, dire bear. Theodore or Boo Boo. Okay, those are the top choices.
Barrick. <laughs> ah, shit. Bear wins. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everybody, but Bear wins. Bark and his bear, Bear. Damn. Damn it, Frankie. It's too good to pass up. So this goes over here. That goes. Da, 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 da. All right, before we go through this door, <laughs> victory! Victory! Oh, Sovereign Guard! All right, ease up, socks. Birk. Tommy? <laughs> Wait, where's Tommy? Tommy? There you are. Berk, let Tommy through. There we go. Get rid of it's spells of the spider and the wolf in your spellbook and replace them with some offensive spells. I think I just did that, did I not? Hang on. Yeah. So I got rid of the spider spell, and now I have flame strike, cure serious wounds, and stone skin. Yeah, I think I did it back after I rested, so perhaps that is why you did not perceive it, Master Walter. Tommy needs to ask you out on a date. Wait, why is Tommy going to ask you out on a date? he cause your loins to quiver it's probably highly inappropriate but we've already killed those spiders right let's go kill these other damn spiders I'm gonna say that uh, role play wise what happened was bark realized that fighting spiders really freaks him the fuck out and so he's like you know what legs get lost I'll figure something else out and that's when he summoned summon bark here John, salutations. Good Thursday evening to you. Hope you find yourself well. Oh, fuck. Phew. Okay, kill it fast. That's good. Wraith spider. Dire spider. Ah, fuck. Socks, hang on. Flesh goal. Another goddamn spider! I wish Halfling Death would get out here in the hallway with me! There we go. Come on, guys. Come on! Sox is trying to help. <coughs> Ow. Sox is almost dead again! Both potions, socks. Yeah. What the hell are Tommy and Beric doing in there? They're just are they cuddling? What's happening? I'm almost dead. Holy shit. Um A little too late there. Son of a bitch. Give him moon sugar. Ugh. Thanks, Walter. <laughs> it's a little too late. <sighs> Get in line. Follow me. Okay, John, see you in a second. Pay better attention to our health here. <laughs> Shit! A sword spider, everybody, right behind you. Yeah. 
No, no, kill the sword spider. It's right there. It's almost dead. <laughs> Here comes. Hey! Damn it, Tommy. Fuck it. We're loading. We can do better. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna aggro some and then run back. I can't run back because my team's already been spotted. Son of a bitch. Alright, hang on. We have something for this. Okay, well it didn't do any damage to the other spiders. That sucks. Sox is dead. It's a tough-ass flesh golem. Here it comes. <laughs> yep, that's about what happened there. Here it comes. <laughs> hey, Sorcerer Dave. You just uh, showed up in time to witness me slapping myself across the face. We're playing Neverwinter Nights, which of course you know. Uh, and we're, we're doing Mutamin's Vitamin Challenge. So far, it has not been going very well. Wait, healer's kit plus six. Holy crap. I don't think I can use it, but that's gotta be worth something, right? Alright. So, Socks is dead. Oh, but wait, I can call Socks. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't use that before. Nice! We're back at it, baby. Um, hey, Tommy. Hang on one second, buddy. You're a little beat up. Tore me a little beat up. Are oh, you right? Take this. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? Take this. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? No. Deal with it, Tommy. All right. Let's do this. We got one big room left and then all this maze of crap here. Mutamin, six day challenge. Fuck those things. I hate them. Where's my guys? Animals, animals. To the fight. Ugh, you guys are sluggish. Okay, well fortunately the adder cops are not hard to kill. Do 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 <laughs> Your non outsider husband. Okay. You're right. You're right. I should be fair to poor Tommy. Hey, so speaking of, we're not doing Death of the Outsider this week because the fucking thing costs 30 bucks. Damn. It's basically a standalone half game. I thought it was just a DLC. But second half of this stream will be interesting. I promise you that. All right, Walter, I have noted that you are probably right about there being lots of traps in the hallway. I will take it nice and slow. Good job dying there. Oh, there you are, Berk. Thanks for showing up. Take it nice and slow. Let Tommy detect the traps. Well, so the Death of the Outsider one, I'm not sure if it even really even counts as DLC uh, because it's not... I'll say this. When I played Dishonored 1... Holy shit! That freaking bear just did 39 damage uh, to that box. Done. When I did uh, uh, Dishonored 1, the DLCs of Brigmore Witches and...
Dowd, the Dowd one. Knife of Dunwall, is that what it's called? They cost, uh, like, ten bucks each. But they were part of the base game. Death of the Outsider, I assumed, was the same thing, but it's not. It's thirty bucks, and it's separate from the, the base of Dishonored 2. You, like, in Steam, it doesn't show up as the same thing. It's a completely different entry in your list of games. So I'm like, okay. I don't get that exactly, but all right. This doesn't look good. Huh. All right, Tommy. Keep an eye out for traps. Huh? Aha! Thanks, Walter. Thanks for the advice. Take it nice and slow. Tommy, detect the traps. Ah, uh, it's done. Ah, oh, Walter. Expand alone. Is that a thing now? Shit. Here I was, so pleased with Arcane for the way that they handled Dishonored 2. I thought it was so well done. I mean, I do. I think it was incredibly well done. It's one of my favorite. Uh, it has made, Dishonored 2 has made Dishonored, the series, one of my favorite game series ever. It was so fantastically done. But um, if that's truly how they're conducting themselves, business-wise, I'm a little put out. I'm a little put out. Ah, bear. I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. I don't... I don't behoove game-making companies uh, charging us more. Where in the hell is Berk going? Look at him. My set. There you are, you big lug. Um... Whoa. Fall of the Samurai Total War Shogun 2 was like that? Because I've played Shogun 2. It was a gift to me from a viewer. Uh, I have not ever finished it, but I didn't even know that the DLC was uh, operating the same way. Here's the thing. I don't actually mind that gaming companies are charging us more per game because I think it actually probably is justifiable, right? You hear stories about the production for Red Dead Redemption 2 or the way that Bioware has been working their motherfuckers to death for um, whatever the hell game it is they're even working on right now. I can't remember the name of the stupid game. But it makes me think, yeah, actually they should probably be charging us more because there ain't no way some dude should be sitting at a computer for 120 hours a week uh, for six done. months before release, right? That's crazy. Charge us more and pay your people what they're what they uh, deserve done. rather than pay them a salary and then make them work a hundred plus hours a week for the four to six months before release that's like i'm not okay with oh shit i don't know what you're doing over there dude but you're, gonna, you're on your own we're coming we're coming Hang on! Dire hellhounds? Oh, Berks, Berks, he's all fucked up. I wonder if it's too late. Berk! Drink this! I toss it to him. <laughs> he grabs it out of midair without opposable thumbs and takes a drink. Oh, fuck! What's with the flames? The Hellhounds breathing flames? Oops, I came over here at the wrong time. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Okay, thank God. Beric, you're still alive. I agree. I'm sure you're right, Dave. I'm sure that it's a situation where if they were to get the extra money, it would just go to the top four or five executive types at the company. What? No remains? Maybe there was nothing. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, but my feeling still remains where I'd rather that they took longer. I know I know that the internet is full of impatient fucking 12-year-olds who want their game yesterday, but I would rather that they take longer, pay their people properly, don't make them work more than they're supposed to work, and charge me more for the game. I would actually be okay with that. I would pay more 
Oh shit, Yon T. Like, <clears throat> here. Here's a thought, right? So when I first got back into gaming after not having a, a gaming PC for a long time, this was uh, 2011, I guess, right? When I first finally got a gaming PC that could handle modern day games, I was paying for a brand new game. I paid $60. It's now eight years later for a brand new game. I pay $60, which is frankly, that's a lot. I know, I know that's a lot for a lot of people. A lot of people don't have money to spend more on a game, but if we're talking about like inflation and cost of living increases and everything, we should definitely be paying a hundred dollars for a, 40 hour something game right like civilization 6 should not have cost 60 bucks it should have cost 90 or 100 or 110 dollars uh i don't know that people like i'm sure that the whiny little brats who make up the internet would throw a freaking shit fit and the first company that actually charged that much for a game would probably uh suffer <laughs> reputation wise but that's what we should be paying i think at least 90 again I, I maybe it's because i'm older i don't know maybe it's because i have kids i don't know but i'm at a point now where i don't care when you release the game and i don't care how much you charge me if i know i'm gonna like it if i can if i can know ahead of time that this is gonna be a good game it's worth my time yes okay if i paid 100 bucks and i got the equivalent of like Mass Effect Andromeda, I'd be like, that sucked. Although I've heard Andromeda wasn't as bad as everybody said. I haven't played it. Point is, if it was a huge letdown like that, I'd be pissed that I spent that much money on a game. But if it was a game series that I knew I was going to enjoy, that I was going to pay for from day one anyway, 100 bucks would be totally reasonable. And I would wait 18, like from the date that you were going to release it, if it was fucked up, if you were like, we don't, we don't have the time to finish this. We're going to have to make everybody work 120 hours a week for six months to get this shit out on time. Screw that, dude. Just release it 18 months from now. Give yourself another year. Whatever. Who cares? I'll still pay for it when it comes out. I recognize I'm not the average gamer. But I feel like companies would be better off if they paid people what they're owed. If they didn't overwork their people... And if you're giving, they're giving you a game that's 30 or 40 hours of gameplay, they should be charging you 100 bucks because that's totally worth it. It's crazy that if you raise prices on a game by 10 bucks, charge everybody $70 and everybody would piss their pants. But really, you're still only paying like, even if you play it for 35 hours, you're paying two bucks an hour. What other form of entertainment can you pay $2 an hour for and get that kind of value? Movies aren't $2 an hour. TV shows aren't $2 an hour. Books aren't even $2 an hour, most of them anyway. And that's the relatively cheap stuff to make by comparison. Games are ridiculously expensive to make. Ooh. Okay, we're dealing with Morticia Adams here, everybody. In sexy clothing. The Yon T says, I am... Ge I am geest? Geest half-elven creature to ask of you a riddle. Oh shit, this is the riddle. Agree completely, publican. Exactly right. Give it to me a year late, I'll still pay a lot for it, if it's a good game. I think maybe it's also perhaps due to the fact that I have so many games in my Steam library now, and my gog library that i have never played that are sitting there paid for that i just haven't touched so i feel no urgency when a new game is released to be like i need it right now i must have it mm. there's just there's always so many other things i could be playing anyway i tend to agree with you dave i read very slowly i don't think I don't think I'm a bad reader, but it takes me... I'll say this. I was reading over the shoulder of my cousin one time when he was reading a book, 
and he went to flip the page, and I was like, wait, 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 one sec. I mean, he was okay with me doing it. I wasn't doing it, but like, uh -huh. hope this doesn't bother you. <laughs> we were reading the same book together. It was like a comic book or something like that. I don't know. This is when we were kids. And he was flipping pages, and I was like, wait, wait, one second. And he looked at me, and goes, dude, you're a slow reader. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know that, but yeah, reading a book in a day seems insane to me. People talk about like, oh yeah, I read that 250 or 300 page book in like six hours. It's... It took me six hours to get through the first couple of chapters. I don't know. I don't know if that's a reading comprehension thing or what, but. All right, so she's giving me a riddle. I can pass unharmed if I answer it. Wait a minute. Hang on, where's the map? So earlier I was here. There was a trap there, and I got. I could have gone here. Presumably, I could have avoided this riddle. Maybe. Uh, Deadbeat. He claimed to. He claimed to remember it. I don't know. I tend to think I'm a standard speed reader, but I've had more than one. My wife also reads faster than me. She, when we're like on a, well, if we're reading like an internet article or something like that, she's scrolling down before I'm done. So maybe it's me. Yeah, I see that, Publican. You're right. I mean, I'm trying to think. What's a book that I read that was really, really, really easy read? I can't think of anything at the moment. The most recent book that I finished, for example, was uh, Echoproxia by Peter Watts. Ah, thank you, Walter. I am Giest Help Elven. Ask of your adult. So she's magically bound to this certain task. Okay, thank you for the translation. Uh, Echo Proxy by Peter Watts, which is a sequel to Blind Sight, which is also by Peter Watts, obviously. Um, Blind Sight is easily the best science fiction novel that I've read since Dune, which is my favorite science fiction series of all time. Actually, my favorite book series of all time. Uh, Blind Sight was fantastic. Echo Proxia was was fine it was about 400 pages and it still took me about six days seven days to get through and that was reading it like one to two hours a day yeah i agree dave if i if i go any faster than my current speed i'm missing things and it's not that enjoyable it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's like playing a video game. Like, I take a, sh a really freaking long time to play a video game. Some of it is being slow on the uptake, like figuring out what it is I need to do in a specific situation. Others of it, other part of it is, is, is uh, exploration. Um, but I, I don't want to play at a faster speed because I feel like I don't really get the enjoyment out of it that I would otherwise. All right, she's asking the riddle. Let's ask away, ask, wait, wait, hang on, what's the line? Hang on. Shit. Now I'm trying to think what it is that Sir Robin says. Ask away, bridge keeper. I'm not afraid. Should you attempt to pass me without answering, or should you answer it wrong, I shall have... This isn't the, this isn't the riddle. You're supposed to say the riddle after I say that. I shall have the pleasure of killing you. What do you say, half-elven fool? Ask your riddle, then, bridge keeper. I'm not afraid. Very well. Since I am forced to do so, I shall. Answer this. At a banquet where human knights gather, each knight, she's standing all sexily in that picture, each knight sat and clinked his glass with the knight to his left and the knight to his right. If there are 15 knights at this banquet, how many times did glasses clink? Hmm? Shit, this is Jindosh Lock right here. <laughs> I was just thinking that, Walter. I just said the same thing. All right, hang on. Fifteen knights. So let's say there's seven and eight. I don't know, this doesn't make a difference, does it? Clink, clink. Map are 15, 30, 45. <laughs> she is doing a shampoo ad. 
When you have to deliver riddles to adventurers, you want to make sure your shoulders are flake-free. That's why I use head and shoulders. Is it 45, Publican? What's your reasoning there? I'm willing to go with it. I just, I would like to know why it is that I'm picking that. Clink, clink. 15 clinks once. No. How many times did glasses clink? Well, the real answer would be twice they clinked, right? Being a snake creature, those scales got to do something to the hair. <sighs> Technically, the glasses only clink twice. Each person's clinking them twice. Uh, if you have 15 people... <sighs> That doesn't work. Hang on. 15 knights and they're clinking glasses with the person to their right. Wait, repeat that? Repeat that. Oh. Clinked his glass with the knight to his left and the knight to his right. So they're not all going to the dude on the right because the dude on the right would be going to the dude on the left. That doesn't make any sense. So half of them are going to the dude on the right, half of them are going to the dude on the left, then they switch. So I'm number one. I go to the right. Number two goes to the left. Number three goes to the right. Number four goes to the left. Number five goes to the right. Number six goes to the left. Number seven goes to the right. Eight to the left. Nine to the right. Ten to the left. Uh, Eleven to the right. Twelve to the left. Thirteen to the right. Fourteen to the left. Fifteen can't go to the right, though, because one has gone to the right. Forty-two. <laughs> No, but wait, 15 is left without a partner the first time, right? Am I wrong? If one goes to the right, 15 would also go to the right, but there's nobody at his right because one is at his right. One is clinking to the right. So one can't clink to the left. Is this making sense? Am I crazy? One would have to clink to the left on the next time, which means 15 is clinking to the right. 15 only clinks once, right? Everybody else could clink twice. Well, no. One would go right at the same time that 15 is at the left. Yes, if they're sitting in a circle, right? Just stab her. <laughs> That would be a Bark Fadrinath reaction. It's like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I know. But listen, listen. Human knights gather. Each knight sat and clinked his glass with the knight to his left and the knight to his right. Fifteen knights. Q clink. Yes. We have a null set here. Uh... Maybe they don't all clink at the same time, but she says 15 knights sitting at a table and they each clink to the left and to the right. And there are only multiples of 15. This isn't, this is weird. Walter's suggestion of 42. Unfortunately, for, or just stab her. All right, hang on. I don't think this makes any sense, but if one through 14 clink glasses to the right and leave 15 out, that's what, seven clinks, right? Then, uh, one through 15, 14, blah, 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 down to three, so one, and then up to 15, and then all the way down to three, clink to the left, that's seven. 
So then that just leaves 15 and two that haven't clinked twice. So then they clink. So 14, so seven plus seven is 14, plus the last clink is one, that's 15, right? Knight one clinks to the right, knight 15 clicks to the left, that's one clink. I don't know. I'm thinking it's seven the first time, seven the second time, and then one for the last two dudes to catch up. You can sneak faster. <laughs> I'm gonna say 15, I think it's 15. That is correct. A childishly simple riddle. Oh, you! You have flakes on your shoulders. Just thought you should know. Give one of those. You may pass, but should you wish a prize, speak to me again. Oh, so I have the option of trying to solve a second riddle? Alright, let's try it. I greet you. So, you wish my prize, do you? Do you wish to answer my second riddle for it, or shall we dance? a weird way to say dance. Dance! Spies! Uh, ask me your riddle, bridge keeper. I'm not afraid. As you wish. Listen closely, foolish one. After slaying a dragon, a group of knights gave some of the trinkets from a treasure hoard to a group of fewer than ten human girls to divide. This is going to be a good one. Here we go. While the trinkets could have been divided equally amongst the girls, they argued over how to divide it. One suggested that they divide it by family instead of by individual. In the group, there were two groups of two sisters, the rest unrelated. This division would mean that the trinkets per family were five more than the trinkets per girl. Before a decision was made, one girl said she desired nothing, so her share was divided amongst the others. The shares were equal once again. The suggestion of dividing the trinkets by family was then withdrawn, as all were satisfied. How many girls share in the division, and how many did each get? I did not parse that one at all. Give me a hint, would you? Success. <sighs> Half elven fool, I shall give you a hint, though I doubt you will be able to answer my riddle regardless. Besides, I have a commercial to get back to. The number of trinkets must be evenly divisible by the number of girls, as well as, ass, by the number of families, and the number of sharers once one is eliminated. Holy shit, okay. So it's not a prime number, then, is what we're saying, huh? Divisible by number of girls. Number of families, and number of shares minus one. Hang on, I'm going to type that in. I'm going to type that into the chat just so that I have it. Divisible by number of girls, families, if I can spell families correctly, hang on. Shares minus one. That way I have it to refer to. <sighs> all right. Say all of that again. After slaying a dragon, a group of knights gave some of the trinkets from a treasure hoard to a group of fewer than ten human girls to divide. While the trinkets could have been divided equally amongst the girls, they over argued over how to divide it. Okay, so fewer than ten could have been given out evenly. One suggested they divide it by family instead of by individual. In that group, in the group, there were two groups of two sisters, so that's four people, the rest unrelated. The division would mean that the trinkets per family were five more than the trinkets per girl. Riddle three, Farmer Brown has six apples and then he gets three apples, how many apples does he have? <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer, Walter. I like that. Trinkets per family were five more. How could the trinkets per family be five more than the trinkets per girl if there were two sets of sisters and everybody else was unrelated? Huh? Continue. 
Before a decision was made, one girl said she desired nothing, so her share was divided amongst the others. The shares were equal once again. Shares of uh, suggestion dividing the shares by family was withdrawn as all were satisfied. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, actually, actually, wait, wait. Go back to the bin. Okay, let's find out what the answers are here. 10 trinkets, 6, 12, 5, 14, 5. I'm typing this into the chat too. 10, 6, uh, 12, 5, 14, 5. Shit, not that. 14. Okay, that might make it easier to figure this shit out. Hang on. Group of knights gave some of the trinkets from a treasure hoard to a group of fewer than 10 human girls. Okay, so the number of girls is fewer than 10. The number of trinkets is ne not necessarily. Accent 4, 5, it's a French answer. <laughs> trinkets could have been divided evenly amongst the girls. Okay, noted publican, noted. They argued over how to divide it. Could have been divided evenly amongst the girls. 14, 5 could not have been divided evenly amongst the girls. But then again, neither could 12, 5. Neither could 10, 6. What? How do you divide, how do you divide any of those evenly? Well, five. Okay, but before we even get to the family thing, it's saying that they could have been divided evenly among, equally amongst the girls. So how the fuck do any of these three number combinations, 10, 6, 12, 5, or 14, 5, how do you divide 10 evenly among 6? How do you divide 12 evenly among 5? And how do you divide 14 evenly among 5? One of the girls gave up a share, but afterwards, this is saying at the very beginning, all the trinkets could have been evenly divided amongst the girls. You had the knights just dropped off. Here, trinkets. And the trinkets were this number and the girls were this number. They could have been divided evenly. But then the girls were like, wait a minute, family. Two groups, two sisters. The rest unrelated. Division would mean that the trinkets per family were five more than the trinkets per... I'm not parsing that sentence at all. I don't understand what the fuck they're saying there. Trinkets per family were five more than trinkets per girl. It's twelve five. Okay, I'll I'll go with it. I've had uh, Frankie and Publican have both tell me twelve five, but I'm not seeing the reasoning behind it. Before a decision was made, one girl said she desired nothing, so her share was divided amongst the others. The shares were equal once again. Hmm. All right, let's go with 12.5. You guys are going to have to convince me why that's the right answer, though. I don't understand it. You are correct. Now here is your gift. Be gone. Oh, Crystal Frog. <gasps> Abella! Yes, it's a bit stressful. Hi, Abella. Fortunately, I have people in the chat who are helping me out. We just got a Crystal Frog. Fashioned from cut crystal, this frog seems so lifelike that you fear it might jump from your hand to shatter on the ground below. It may be the 
prize required to complete Mutaman's challenge in the basement of the Green Griffin Inn. Well, fascinating. We did it, though. It's the correct answer. Oh, because you Googled it. Well, all right. Is she going to attack me if I open this thing up? Okay, okay. Or rather, if I tell Tommy to open it up. Uh, it's done. Okay, so now, now that we have gotten that correct, somebody's got to reason me through how the hell 12 and 5 is the correct answer. One of the girls gave up a share. 12 can be given equally to 4 now. Okay. But did it not say at the very beginning that the number of shares, the number of trinkets could be evenly divided by the number of girls before any of the family or one girl says she doesn't want it shit. Before any of that stuff figured in, it said that the number of trinkets could be divided evenly amongst the number of girls. 12 does not divide amongst five evenly. I don't know. I have no idea, Kira. It's probably me. Ah! <laughs> Kill the mage, quick! Damn! 38! Fuck. Okay, sorry, Tommy. Hang on a second, dude. Come on, Bart. Cast it, dude. Shit. Now my bear's almost dead. Tommy's almost dead again. God damn. Ow! And now Sox is almost dead. This is going to be close, you guys. Nope. 29. Tommy's gone. Ow! What the hell was that? I think I'm going to reload. I don't think I like this. I still have one lightning. Maybe I'll do that. You know, actually... Hang on. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the lightning. Tommy gonna be split in twain. Did I not save it after this stupid chest? Okay, okay. Of course I didn't. Easy, Berk. Easy, Socks. Tommy! Dude! Okay, okay. Man, what the hell? Ah, uh, it's done. Oh, I don't think that's as good as what was there before. Okay, can we wait, wait, wait? Can we rest here now that there's everything's dead? No. Oh, what's still here? Wait a minute, is there something still here? What's over here then? Wait a minute, should we go back and see? Is there something back there that wants to kill me? I'd really like to be able to rest here. Check out Berk's attributes, huh? I did save after the second riddle, I think. Almost positive. Let's just check. Hang on. Do I have the crystal, the crystal skull? The crystal frog? There it is. Berk's attributes. What the hell? How the hell do I get to Berk's attributes? 
Examine. Ah, here we go. Animal, true, neutral, strength of 27, uh, 24, dexterity 13, constitution 19, intelligence 3, wisdom 12, charisma 10. He's 10 charisma. That's a very charismatic bear. Attack bonus, plus 16, plus 11, 2 to 8, plus 7, 2 to 16, plus 7. Fortitude 12, Reflex 9, Will 5, Base 9, Neutral, Neutral. It's really bad at appraising, is this bear. <laughs> and, and he's bad at crafting armor, traps, and weapons. Also very bad at lore. Good, he's a good listener, though, this bear. This, oh, bear, you are such a good listener. He's bad at searching, though. Good at spotting. <laughs> uh, hang on, publican. I'll read your comment here in just a second. Weapon proficiency. Creature. Okay. I think I get it. One pair of sisters is one family. The other pair is another family. And the last single girl is a family. That's three families. Twelve can be equally divided among the three. A single girl gives up. That means only two families and also be equal okay that makes me wonder what the legs charisma was we're gonna have to call legs back just to find out i am willing to go with that publican i am willing to go with that however the very first part of the riddle was very deceptive because she said the number of trinkets and the number of girls from the very beginning could be divided evenly and I know that because I was a stickler at that point. I'm like, what? Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. I was very careful about that. I don't know. I mean, I don't care. It's fine. We got through it. I'm willing to bet. I'm. I'm. In fact, I'm confident that you're chitter chitter. I'm confident that your reasoning is correct. Queen spider. Holy shit. Uh, but it doesn't make sense to me, is what I'm saying. Oh, shit. Barely injured. Oh, okay. Magically, she's badly wounded. Alright. I'm basically doing this so that I can rest. That's the reason I'm here. Damn, Tommy's taking hits. Or maybe that's me, I can't tell. Huzzah! No, no, what's in the cocoon? He was actually a bard! <laughs> oh, Eric, you're such a good listener. <laughs> ah, you guys. You guys are in rare form this evening. That's good. Okay, I, I have to be sure. I didn't pick up a scroll of identify or anything, did I? Was I smart enough to retain one if I did pick one up? I don't think I did. Yes, I know, there's poisons going off all around me. What? What? That's how you do it? Look at that! That's how you do it? You don't have to drop shit, you just... This whole goddamn game, I've been wondering, how do you move stuff from tab to tab? My god. Ugh. Fine. It's fine. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. You can tell, right?
What? Really? Okay. Um, okay. All right, all right, all right. Hang on. Inventory time, everyone. Hang on. We're going to have a potion page, and we're going to have uh, uh, whatever page. It's going to be crazy. This is going to be nuts. Just wait. We're getting into it now. Why does it do that? Really? It won't let me just... You have to move things out of the way in order to be able to put something there. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, dragon blood. Oh, this is so silly. This is going to take four goddamn ever. <laughs> I'm so glad that I get to do this now. All this time I was wondering, like, why, how the fuck do you move shit from tab to tab? Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna get all the potions on one on one tab. Then I don't care about everything else. This is fine. It can all be a mess. Is this not stack? Some, oh, that's a Mithras gem. Okay. Stand by. Almost there. Somebody just dropped something on the ceiling above me. Apologies. If you could hear that. Oops. Tommy, your contract can go over shit. Can't go there. Now it can. Okay, any other potions? Yes. Fuck. I'm really sick of that snakes. Oh, God. Uh. there. Stay on target. Almost there. You're too close. No, I can hold it. Ah! All right. Ugh. Magical small shield. Did I learn something new? <laughs> no, I learned nothing new. Just that I... Well, yes, I did learn something new. Just that I could move shit. That's all. And apparently there's this really cool shield, but I don't know what's, what it is until I go back and get it identified, which is going to cost me like a thousand gold right now. So, let's see. Can we rest? Booyah. OCD kicking in. Mm. Yeah, you know, ish. OCD ish. Back, Badranath, up here! Alright. Shall we step into the next realm? Realm? Room and uh, fight some skeletons? Actually, this is a different room, isn't it? Who knows what's going to be here? But the skeletons are over there, aren't they? 
Oh. Something wants to kill us. Holy shit! Minotaur. Well, he wasn't so tuft. Tuft? Porkin. Porkin was in Raiders? Major Eaton? Who the hell was Major Eaton in Raiders? I've seen Raiders like 30 times. Minotaur and Feather. I like it. Who's Major Eaton? Wait! No, that's a pun, right? Publican? Surely there was not a character named Major Eaton who was also fat? <laughs> Come on, tell me you're full of shit. Okay, okay. Yes, hello, my the credits to my name include Porkins, Major Eaton, and uh Large Appetite. Oh fuck. Major Eaton? <laughs> They're really peaceful, these Minotaurs. They're so easy to kill. Okay, so we came in here. And then this, and then this, and this, and this. Who knows? Anyway, we're going this way. Also, I recognize it's pretty much time to switch over to our next game. We will do so here in just a moment. Ah, oh, shit, Minotaur. Here comes Halfling Death! <laughs> Halfling versus Minotaur would be very funny. It'd be like fighting a cat if you were the Minotaur. I mean. Which, I'm not saying the cats can't fuck you up. Get you an alley smithy belt. Cats could definitely mess you up. Oh, so yeah, speaking of, my son and I, my oldest son Gabriel and I, were last night we were talking about um, other primates, right? We we're talking about apes, the great apes. Um. Uh, gorillas, chimps, bonobos, that kind of thing. Orangutans. And he was saying, like, oh, so, you know, oh, we were talking done. about just how how ridiculously muscular okay, okay. gorillas and chimps are. Gorillas especially, obviously, but chimps themselves are very muscular, too. They're huge. Oh, it's done. The, you know, the one chimp that ripped the lady's face off and all that stuff. That was Porkins? I guess so. Top men. My god, and his name was Major Eaton? <laughs> Does George Lucas hate fat people? What the hell, George? <sighs> These years ain't got nothing on me. Um, that's so sad. Poor, poor actor who played Porkins slash Major Eaton. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? We were talking about chimps and gorillas and stuff, right? So, um, he was asking me, he's like, Oh shit, it's trapped! Just, just uh, stay back. No can't do. Can't get through it, huh? All right, let's try it anyway. It killed all of us. Holy shit. Just surrounded by char marks. I didn't even notice the char marks. <laughs> That's how bad of a bad of an adventurer I am. Ugh. So Tommy's not going to do it. Tommy can't disarm... Ooh, pile of stones. Tommy can't disarm it. Uh, well, I really don't know what else to do. We, we have to leave it alone, don't we? Um, talking about chimps and gorillas, right? And my, my oldest son was like, Oh, well, do you think I could take on a, a gorilla? I was like, dude, no way could you take on a gorilla. 
And he's like, well, could I take on, like, a three-year-old gorilla? <laughs> he's 12. And I was like, uh, I mean, a three-year-old gorilla still weighs, like, 100 pounds. And you weigh 80 pounds. So, no, you could not take on a three-year-old gorilla. Where was I going with this? Why was I talking about the gorillas? I can't remember. I cannot even remember oh, why we were... Done. He might have the HP. I... Alright, we'll try it. He got killed by that trap the same as I did. Of course, I could always just resummon him, couldn't I? Okay, let's try it. Why were we talking... Why was I talking about chimps and gorillas? No idea. Oh yeah, both good songs by the Gorillas. You're right. Uh, my favorite Gorillas song is actually "Man Research." Oh, they got on something because I died. Okay, see, Frankie knows all. Everybody, Frankie knows all. Okay, dude. Um, hmm. How do I tell you to bash? Bash, I say. How do I tell you to bash? Barracks listening. He's, he does not find this a very exciting idea. He's like, wait, you want me to what? <laughs> he spotted the charm marks long before I did. Okay, well, hang on, hang on. What if I go... Nope, 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 nope. The animals aren't going to do it? The animals aren't... How do I get them to do it? Hmm. Can I ride the bear? What? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Oh, dude, wait. Can I ride the bear? What? Why can't I not ride the bear? Mount actions. Individual mount. That henchman does not have a horse assigned to it otherwise oh ah okay attack target click on the chest thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh um hang on <laughs> frankie's probably just like dude what is wrong with you come on i have attack nearest i don't have attack target though <laughs> uh. Tell to cast cantrips. You bear. Cast cantrips. Taunt the chest. Oh shit. Don't don't taunt the chest. Hmm. Shit! God. I'm not figuring it out, Frankie. Sorry. I'm not seeing a attack item X. Just attack nearest. 
Okay. You know what? I mean, we're not going to get into the thing anyway. Frankie's, <laughs> Frankie's pissed. He cannot handle my incompetence. It's fine. We, I, I don't think it's going to work. Even if I was willing to sacrifice Berk, which I'm kind of sort of not, I don't think we can make it in. Right, okay, so it's after the the 90 minute mark here. I've already been over here, what am I doing? I'm, I'm wasting time, let's go this way. Why does it look like there's a passageway through here? What the hell is that about? There's not. Looks like though, on the map, right here, it looks like a secret passageway. Right there. I have no idea why I mentioned chimps and gorillas earlier, damn it. Check it deeper now. Okay, let's go. We'll get to a stopping point here, just stand by everyone. Yeah. just be the pillars. Oh yeah, the pillars have little little spurs on the map. Okay, I see it now. You're right. So if a pillar is there and a pillar is there, it kind of looks like a connection, but it's not. So here's a question. Why does Metamucil, or whatever the hell his name is, have all these sarcophagi under his inn? I could see having... Um, Catacombs under a city, but under an inn in the middle of the countryside? I don't understand that. Plus the freaking minotaurs! Why does he have minotaurs? Why the hell does he have minotaurs? Oh, crap. Dead end. Ah, so this is where if I'd come in the other way, maybe, maybe not, where I fought those skeleton archers the first time and I died, interior design gone wrong. Frankie's back. Um, oh, that guy's pissed. I don't know if I can get over there. Uh, I came in the first time I fought the skeleton archers, I died. Perhaps that's what's over here? Crystal insect. Boy, look out! Where's your body socks? Shit. Sorry, I didn't want to distract you from the trap. I thought you were... He can't make up his mind, can Tommy? We'll open it up, dude. Come on. Socks is guarding my six. I like that. That's great. Ooh, the allergies have hit. Have it? Have they? Uh, deadbeat. Two minotaurs. Here we go. This is a challenge. It jumped! They're jumping! Look at them jump! What agile minotaurs. Thank God for my summoned animals. Good grief. Can you imagine how much weaker I'd be without them? Hmm. <laughs> He's like, come on, dude, really? Even that wasn't that impressive. Ah, okay. So let's see. 
go that way, we can go this way and get down there. Okay, we'll go this way, we'll finish off this hallway, and then we'll call it a night with this game anyway. Ah! Cosma! Oh, Cosma's dead. I tried! I tried, Cosma! Thanks, socks. Here comes the cavalry. Cosma has fallen. Ooh. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. It's the four gold. Cosma has fallen. We have one less competitor. Boy, it's done. Bolts. Boy, it's done. <laughs> Ale. Eh. Careful of traps. Oh, careful of minotaurs. Ow. I find it hard to believe that a thing could swing a giant axe like that and miss all of us. Ow. Remains? No remains. Shit! Running away, eh? We gonna be alright? I don't know. Yeah, we're alright. Okay, before we go that way. This way. Taking time for traps. Tommy to recognize traps. Die! Wait, hang on a second. I'm kind of close to death here. Uh, where's my potion page? Oh, a bit premature of me. The Northern Four Adventuring Troop. Eh. Okay. I'll probably never read it. Stormtrooper Minotaur. <laughs> I checked this already, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, this is a good stopping point because now I'll remember. Go back. Go over here. This way. Before you hit the exit, go around this side. Maybe there'll be like a riddle. Oh, 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 maybe we'll use that crystal frog thing here. So what was back? There was the room where we fought the skeletons, the other way into the deeper part of the dungeon. That's not in this area at all. Should we go back? Uh. Excuse me. So tricky. So tricky to discover all the parts of this game. All right, everybody. Those of you in the chat, hang out a little bit longer. We'll switch over to our mystery game. Those of you catching up on YouTube, thanks very much for doing so. 